In this video, I'm going to show you how to aggregate your RME interface with your Dangerous Music Source monitor controller for use in Mixbus 32C. Let's get to it. Okay, first things first. Uh, I got my Dangerous Music Source a couple weeks ago, and I set it up, and it was working good, but I wanted to connect my RME Babyface Pro digitally to my source to get the best sound quality. Now the problem is, and this is there's a thread on gear slots that the forum with the name change soon to be. So I wanted a, a digital connection, and apparently it's a bit of cluster. F excuse my language. So you apparently you need if you want to go from the optical out from the RME Babyface Pro to the optical in or the SPIDF AS in on the source, uh, you need an adapter and it, and then there, there's potential latency involved, jitter, latency, whatever. So I was like, oh, that's out. So, and, I, and I had looked at this ahead of time. So I was, I was already anticipating this. Um, but then I did some research. I found out that the, the dangerous music source has a USB connection and Apparently, the, the quality is as good as the SPIDF connection. So, I got it all set up. I, you know, I had, I plugged into my Mac and I got the audio interface working. And you could set them up separately. You can have the Babyface Pro as your input and the source as your uh, output, your DA. But uh, it was a little tricky to set up in Mixbus. This, with this tutorial specifically, is geared toward is, is Mixbus. So it was a little tricky to set up. It's it's it was very it's very easy to set up in Logic. Um, but it's a little tricky to set up in Mixbus. Um, you have to set it up as an aggregate. You can't set up separate inputs and outputs. For some reason it doesn't work. I don't know if it's a bug or what. If you know, let me know in the comments down below. So without further ado, let's start the tutorial. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the audio mini setup. And you can do that by hitting command and space together on your keyboard to bring up the spotlight. Type in audio slash mini. There it is. Uh, let's delete this. Okay, so now hit the plus button and click create aggregate device. Now this is very important is that you select the dangerous music source first. And by the way, just in case you didn't know, this XMOS USB audio out is the driver for the source. So check that off. And then check off your RME interface, which is in this case is my Babyface Pro. Um, because if you if you did the other way around, it, it doesn't work. And you have the drift correction. Well, the Babyface Pro is gonna be my source clock. So that means I'm going to uncheck drift correction for the baby face, but then check off drift correction for the source. All right, so we have that set up. Now, let's get out of that, close that. And you want to, you want to bring up your, what is this? Oh, Fireface USB settings. So you want to click on that. And now you want to make sure that your clock source is set to internal. Mine was not set to internal. I think it was external or something else. So the next thing you want to do is you you want to go up to here, up to the up to your sound preferences. This little sound icon. This is very important. I think you know this people have been having issues when using the source through USB. You have to go up here, and you have because if you plug, say for example, you plug in a Dell monitor. Uh, through HDMI, it's going to change. It's, it might change the audio output to that uh, that Dell monitor. And you might not even realize that, and you you might not even check up here at all. So you want to you want to select. So we have the aggregate device now. Actually, we 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 forgot to rename it. So I can go back, and um, I just go back here and rename it. Um, double click. And I, I type in baby face pro slash source. 
So we got that, and then we go up here, and then we choose Babyface Pro slash Source. And we can go up here, we can ch double check our settings here, sound prefaces. Our output is, that's the most important is the output, is the Babyface Pro Source. And then the input, uh, we can also select that for, as the Babyface Pro Source. So that's how you set them up as an aggregate. Now we're going to move over to Mixbus. So the next step is to launch Mixbus. Now we're in Mixbus. Okay, so we're going to create a new session. All right, so now the audio mini setup for input device, you're going to select the the Babyface Pro slash Source, and for output device, you're going to select also select Babyface Pro Source. Um, sample rate doesn't matter because we're recording. So now we hit start. Next step is go to Window, Audio Connections. And this was, this, this took me a little, this is what I, where I got hung up. Uh, and it took me a while to figure out. Uh, so apparently when you start a new project, you need to set up the, the right connections here. Okay. So you go to here, you, you click on, on the left hand side, you click mix bus, 32C buses. And, uh, and then the, the first to analog one and two, you have to, you know, fill those in. Left, right, you fill those in, and apparently that was that was not set up when I when I initially uh, tried this out. In this case, it's set up, so that's good, and um, that's pretty much it. So that's the end of the tutorial. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.